2018 National Defense Strategy is the first of its kind in a decade, and it acknowledges the Pacific challenges and signals America's resolve and lasting commitment to the Indo-Pacific. Americans' vision is shared by most nations in the region, where every state's sovereignty is respected, no matter its size, and it's a region open to investment in free, fair, and reciprocal trade, not bound by any nation's predatory economics or threat of coercion. This is hard work, for sure, but it's not aspiration. It's in our DNA. This is what we live for. Our nation deserves no less, and our President and Secretary of Defense expect no less. If called upon, I'm confident that Admiral Davidson will lead Indo-PACOM to fight tonight to defend America's interests in the vast Indo-Pacific. Admiral Harry Harris and Ms. Bruni Bradley, United States Navy, retired, departing. For more than 70 years, the Indo-Pacific has been largely peaceful. In most ways, this was made possible by two things. The commitment of free nations to the free and open international order, and it was underwritten by the combat credibility within U.S. Pacific Command.